Now, we're going to instantiate the ABP. We're going to say new add book panel. No, sorry about that. Not new add book panel. We're just doing this because we don't want to say, we don't want to keep doing this. Every time we need to use a method inside our screen, inside our ABP, we don't have, we don't want to have to keep writing this first and then so that we can get access to any of the methods inside our add book panel. So we're just saying that's ABP just to, instead of writing this down every time, you can just say ABP dot. And do the same thing for BLP. Set that equal to screen dot get BLP. And remember, these are the methods that we saw that we defined inside our um, inside our panels inside our inside our library interface. <clears throat> now that we have access to our panels. We're going to add the action listeners to the uh, buttons inside our ABP. And so add action listener. We're going to pass in this. Do the same thing for the BLP. Dot add action listener. Pass in this. We're getting an error because we haven't defined this these methods inside our ABP and our BLP. So what we're going to do is we're going to let Eclipse do the work for us. Again, hover over this. Damn it. Hover over this and go all the way down to create method add action listener system in uh in type add book panel. So go ahead and click that. And now it's going to take us to our add book panel class and add the, uh, the method. However, this does not take in the library system. It takes in the action listener of the library system. Let's call it A. And import the action listener. And all we're going to do is add the action listener A to all of our buttons. Now remember, we declared a couple of buttons here, like five buttons. So we're going to copy these buttons. Copy it. Paste it here for now. Comments. We're going to add the, this action listener to. Uh, to be browse, as a matter of fact, it's copy, no cut, paste, dot, add action listener, A. So we're passing in the action listener that we, uh, that the, our library system implemented and add that action listener in, in, uh, in our add book panel buttons. And we'll do the same thing for these buttons over here. So it's going to copy and paste this four times. One, two, three, four. And cut this, paste this here. Do the same thing. Delete this uh, comment. And now the action listeners are uh, waiting inside these buttons, just waiting to be fired. But we're not ready yet. If you go inside our library system class, our action perform does not do anything. We need to detect. And for now, guys, just comment this out for now. We're going to work on our uh, uh, ABP first, our ad book panel action listener stuff first. All right. Now we need to detect 
Now we need to detect. Whenever we click something, we need to know which button was clicked. So, and right now, if if you don't do that, if you just say inside our action performed, you say system dot exit. What's going to happen is, and let's actually let's actually run our application. Let me show you what's going to happen. What's going to happen is whenever you click any one of these buttons, the same thing will happen because you're not yeah the same thing will happen so if I if I click add books library it'll just close if I click save it'll just close so it's doing the same thing for all of them now we need to detect which button was clicked so that uh, we can do a certain thing and the way we do that is just we're gonna switch we're gonna create a switch statement no, actually, no, we can't do that. We can't create a switch because switch only uh, the switch statement only works for integers. And we can't do a switch inside this because the action event is, a, uh, is not an integer. Yeah, no, I don't think it's an integer. So... Just change this to event. Let's say a bunch of if else statement. So if our event comes from get source, comes from our uh, our uh, add book panel button get. Um, get browse button and we haven't created this method yet so what we're gonna do we're gonna do that but if the event in the event that our so okay okay so whenever you click something the action performed will fire and since all of these buttons have the same action have the same action listener inside it waiting it's going to call the same action performed but remember this action performed has uh, an event parameter an action event parameter and when that action event parameter says it gives us the uh, it can give us which button was clicked which uh, which object was clicked which object that has this action performed which object of that was clicked so what this is saying if this browse button was clicked we're going to system.exit now we need to create the uh, get matter the get getters for our buttons so go ahead, uh, go on to your add book panel class, and we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, write a lot of getters. So public, let's actually just put it below here. Say getters public, and it's gonna return a J button. Public uh, get but button browse and let's actually go all the way up and just copy the buttons again. Just copy. And comment and paste it here. And we're just gonna return our button browse. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste this four more times. Copy. Paste. Yeah, that should be good enough. No, one more. Alright, so just instead of uh, B browse, cut this, paste it here. 